Right, this will be my first police station audit uh, and this is Beverly Police Station. Uh, all this, this town is an amazing place. Beautiful place, I bet it's brilliant to live. Uh, as I've said, this is police station and this is where we were brought this is where we were brought when the uh, Armley Prison refused to accept any more prisoners over 900. They remanded them back to police stations and uh, this is the police station I were remanded in. I've got to say that this has got to be the only police station that I can't say no bad about. We were treated with respect uh, and we were fed from the big hotel restaurant which is that building there next door uh, all the food came from there I was here for a few months and uh, whilst I was here as I say all this food came from that place there officer used to come with uh, a menu and asked us what we wanted for uh, as meal. I actually put that much weight on in here. I had to give up my tea while they changed offices about five, six o'clock. And they just lock us in with his tea and then unlock us again at seven o'clock. Like I've said, the traitors we respect like civilised human beings uh, I'd put that much weight on I had to put a bin liner over me uh, put my jumper and everything on and run on spot for that hour that we were locked up then as they unlocked us about seven o'clock ish I could uh, get a shower and uh, mop the uh, cell out as you can see, there's loads of police vehicles in here. None of them seem to be out. Uh, there's no officers harassing me, asking me what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in and ask them. Uh, so I'll just hold tight boys and let's see what sort of reaction I get in here. Uh, well, actually, I won't go in because I ain't got a mask. Uh, maybe I can see uh, inside. Uh, yeah, I'm inside. Access control point. Yeah, there's only me in here, so there shouldn't be a problem. Excuse me, officer. Uh, I'm not, I am, I am filming, but it's publicly accessible and I'm not putting this police station in any bad light, totally the opposite. You're filming me now? Yes, love. Why are you filming me? Be if you just let me finish explaining before you run off. It, uh, when Armley Prison refused to accept any more prisoners over the amount of 900, Everybody got remanded to the police stations. I were brought to this one. What's your name? And I've you? said, and as I've said uh, at the beginning of this, this police station treaters with utmost respect. Can I just ask you to stop filming me before before I'm? I'm in a publicly accessible place, love. It's just for my own purposes. Yeah, but can, can you please stop filming me? Uh, I'll, I'll put a thing over you. What's your name, please? I don't have to answer that, love. Thank you. She don't want to talk to me. I've explained I'm being nice. Uh, I think we'll go around here. I don't want to pro provoke her. I don't want to cause any offence. I don't know why she was being like that, because I explained. I'm not putting this police station in any bad light. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice police station. 
they gave us weights so we could train in exercise yard. Uh, what else? They, they uh, actually they took as property off us and left us with his money in his possession. And what they did, an officer would come to down onto its cells every morning and take a list of what we wanted and we gave him the money. Then he'd go to the shop, get his tobacco and his whatever we wanted and he'd come back and uh, give us the change. Uh, that were left on us until we uh, went back to court. Then they'd take it off us, book it into us property, and if we came back to police state, this police station, they'd give us his money back, which was pretty good, really. Treat us like civilised human beings. I'm sorry that lady acted like that, but I don't know why. But they do, don't they? Police are police, aren't they? I suppose everywhere. In fact, she's the first one out at lot, including Inspector, that uh, aren't treated as we civil being civilised. She just wanted to be a bit aggressive. Uh, I was here for about three months. Best bit of remand I've done. And like I've said, this next door is the hotel where we used to get us uh, food from. I'm going to get a picture of that place because it's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm not going to go near cars. That would be rather silly. Uh, but as you can see, these are police cars. It looks like he's going to come out and ask. And that hotel there, where I'm pointing to now, top food. They actually brought menu and asked us what we wanted off menu. I laughed, I thought they were taking Mickey. Uh, there's an officer here now inside the building. He's probably going to come out and ask me what I'm doing. But as you can see, all around this place, Beverly, it'd be an amazing place to visit. And I think when I've done my audit, I'm going to nip round and uh, get some food. I'm still filming here, they're watching me through a window. Uh, oh, morning officer. First off, officer, before anything, can you keep social distancing, please? Because I ain't got a mask and neither have you. Yeah. And can I have your collar number and your name? One Jackson. One Jackson, what's your collar number? PC1. PC1? I am. So you don't have collar numbers? And that's it, really? Yeah. Right, well, first of all, I'm not here to put police in uh, any bad light. I'm doing a video for my own purposes, right? Places of public interest. And my interest in this place was, which I was trying to ask that lady in there, but she rudely told me that I couldn't film, which as you know, I can. In a public place. Or anywhere deemed to be public, accessible, which is what that is, okay. right? Uh, I, when Armley Prison, said enough's enough before alt riots to accepting more than 900 prisoners at the time they had 1700 in so they refused to accept any more prisoners over the numbers to get the numbers down so as you went to court you were sent to police stations i was very very lucky to have been sent to this police station. They locked us in on cell block. What was this for? This for offences we'd committed. That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. Right? When, when about was this? When Armley, I've just told you, when Armley refused to accept any more prisoners other than 900. What year was this? It's going back a fair few years, mate. Back to tail. They locked us on cell block here 
and just locked the gates. The inspector came in and told us all his privileges would be adhered to. Okay. So they took all his property off us as usual and they actually gave us as cash money back in his pockets. That was the first shock we had. Then they came in with a, uh, a menu from the place next door here, the hotel, and asked us what we wanted for his meal. We couldn't believe it. Food top notch, as you probably know. Then an officer came in every day and he asked us what we wanted from the shop. We gave him a list and gave him money necessary. He went, got the items, give us his change. When we went back to court, they booked us all his money back into property, took us to court, and if we came back, they gave us it back. I would actually hear three months. By the time it got to tea time, uh, I'd eaten too much and put on too much weight. So that hour they locked us up between six and seven while they changed staff, I had to run on spot. So I'm just here now, filling that part of my life in. Okay. I'm going round and I'm doing everywhere else that I've been and documenting it. And then I've got a chap, an author, that's going to put it all into a book. Okay. Usually we get officers coming out, threatening us with terrorism act, which you know is no good in this case. I've got no problem with you being... Or filming and telling us not to film. In fact, they even tried to grab camera. But in in end, they have to do it the same as you accept. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like I said, I've got no problem with you. With uh, this public area, but... I thank you for all. And as I've said right at the beginning of my audit, this has got to be the most pleasant police station inside and out that I've been in in the country and that takes some saying I got no brutality or anything on that score from this police station when I started my career as a criminal right you got arrested beat up and then if you weren't going to make a statement they made one for you and this is the paragraph that they used to put at the bottom of the statement, it used to go as, I have read the above statement and I have been told I can correct, alter or add anything I wish. This statement is true. I have made it of my own free, free will. And if you refuse to sign it, they'd put refuse to sign and magistrates and courts just went along with it. When all riots and everything kicked off, and brutality in police stations, and high-ranking officers from Wakefield, Chief Inspector from Wakefield, Huddersfield, Dewsbury, were all non-sin kids. Yeah? They were actually killing them. At the same time, uh, they were looking for Yorkshire Ripper. But people, the public, were kicking off because nobody was getting put up front for these child murders. Everybody was concentrating on Yorkshire Ripper, looking in wrong places, looking for a Geordie. What not even a Geordie. Uh, so what they did, like I've said, this inspector and other high-ranking police from Dewsbury and that, and ex-fix William Vicar decided they had to set somebody up. So they arrested a lad from, that were retarded, he had brain of a four or five year old and he was 21. He played with all the kids in Fitzwilliam on a housing estate called The City. They arrested him because he was one they could set up easy because he was retarded. 
So they ar arrested him and stuck him in Armley, where I was hospital orderly. I was hospital orderly in Armley Prison while the Yorkshire Ripper was there. And what they do when this puts cases in jeopardy, when they place somebody in Armley or any other place for psychiatric reports like they did Yorkshire Ripper, and as I've said, Ripper were put in Armley Prison January 1981. Yeah, for psychiatric reports. Now what they were supposed to do is, psychologist comes in at end of week, so the nurse, the staff nurse, the screw, had a table on the landing. And as I've said, he had, a, he had a book on the table and he had to go and observe them at particular times of day. He'd go and observe Ripper Throat Spiral right down in this book, exactly what he was doing. End of week, they were took into psychologist. He'd have already read that book on what he was supposed to be doing and what he wasn't doing, right? And they do that because all schizophrenics have set patterns of behaviour that cannot be mimicked, no matter what. So then psychologist gives him a load of drugs and says, right, see what happens now. Now, because he was schizophrenic, he woke up like a robot and did whatever he did at particular times of day. Now, the screw has sat in office chatting to his mates. Who's going to write in the book? The Ardleys. Me. So I write, but it's my turn for joint next. So am I go, gonna go spy and write in the book what Ripper's doing? Or am I gonna go 10 minutes later, have a look what it said before and put something similar? Which is exactly what I did. Which means, at the end of the week, when that psychologist, they took him back in and they say, yeah, 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 he's, he is schizophrenic. Get him back to Crown Court, get him nutted off to Rampton, right? He's made that on what he thinks as his staff nurse is writing. But it ain't, is it? It's mine and other orderlies. So that puts the Rippers and everybody else's cases on that hospital wing in jeopardy. But I bet you're not going to do note about it, same as the rest of them didn't. How can that be proved? Because that book as in their storeroom where they keep every other document going back right to when it were an hanging nick, right? But I bet if you went and phoned them for that book today, January 1981, yeah? They'll say that book's disappeared. Why? Because we've now got forensic. They come and take an handwriting sample off me and off staff nurse that was supposed to be on and prove it's my writing in that book. Then you know what they've got to do. They've got to release Ripper and all the rest of them and pay them for banging them up. Whether they know they're guilty or not, they cannot be retried, because that's double jeopardy, unless further evidence comes to light. So, I'm glad I've got that off my chest, mate, because that's something else I wanted to mention to a police officer so I can see, once I've gone away, what reaction I get off this video. I should expect you to go in there and check what I've said to you, regardless of whether you know my name or not. Well, the thing is, I can't corroborate anything you've said, have I? Because I don't know who you are. No, but you're supposed to go check. You're supposed to go check, easily checked. I can't check them for that, because I, I don't know about you're an orderly for that. You could check. Because all other orderlies are there as well. It's not that screws and right. Well, the easy thing to do would be to go January 1981, check what staff nurse was supposed to be on writing in the book, check his handwriting, and that'll tell you it won't is. So who's what it? But equally, I can't reopen the police investigation for an area. I'm the no, but this is what we're about. This is what we're about. Have you heard of the Pinak movement? Well, the PINAC movement, it stands for Photography is not a crime. Right. We do vlogs on police stations and everything else. Everything. Wherever there's corruption, we're there doing this. I mean, if 
Because there is no changes in society unless there are people like us. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, in my time, when I started, there'd been half a dozen police out dragging me in and kicking me all over by now. But, as I've said again, you're not about that. And this is the best police station I've ever been for. Thanks for your time. I'm obviously wasting your time now. You can't do out for me. I'm not going to give you my name. No, I don't have to. I've tried all that route. I tried complaining about the nonces in approved schools. And what did they do? They nicked me for false allegations against uh, members of staff. What happened 25 years later? They sent a copper in uniform, knocking on my door, asking me to back them up in court. Sergeant uh, Straw, Selby Police Station. Talk to him. He knows all about it, mate. So, as I've said, I've done my audit here now, mate. I've been on 20 minutes. It's well long enough. So I'll thank you for your time. I'll go around and feel, uh, film your beautiful town. Have a nice day. Thank you. Same to you. Well, that's got to be one of the best interactions I've had with a police officer. At least he stood and took time to listen to what I had to say. So I put that down to a brilliant audit. Uh, I'm just filming this place here now because this is the restaurant where they got our food from. And what food it is as well. And I want to get this, this fantastic tree I want to get this fantastic tree on my video as well. It's all right, love, I'm not going to film you. Uh, I'm just going to film this beautiful tree. Wow, look at that for a tree. Wow, how amazing is that? We'll just get back here a bit. Wow, look at that. Right, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.